Double up. Three or four times. I ain't telling no lies. I just run it up. Never let a hard time. Ooh, we are back again. We are back doing yet another video, guys. Today we're gonna be reacting to. You know, we're gonna react to something pretty interesting. We're gonna be checking out a girl that's actually begging for her man not to leave her after she was caught getting slimy piped down vigorously getting semen baby batter pumped in her guts by another nigga she got ran down on by her man because she was getting fucked violently consensually by another guy so my nigga's gonna put her on blast for that you know, we love exposing these hoes. We love exposing these bitches. No, we love exposing these hoes, okay? And I'm not talking about women. Not the queens, okay? Not the women. Not the princesses. Not the ladies. We talking about the thoughts, the guppies, the bitches, the hoes, nigga. That's what we talking about. So let's get it going. Three, two, one, start. Let's get this shit. All I'm trying to do is go out the door. Y'all see this on Look the her camera? begging. I'm trying to leave out the door. Get away from the situation and make things better for me. Tell him, like, young king, try to prosper. Can't seem to uh, go. So when the police get here, you will see. Because I'm gonna have to remove. Shout the reptile from cage city. in the back. I fuck reptiles. Trying to be polite and just walk out and and, and have a great day, but um. Let me stop this, me. man. Can you please? Shout out to my man's with the reptile cage. Okay, he got the iridescent. He got the iridescent light on the red light. You know, a lot of reptiles can't see the color red actually. So that light is pretty much going to emulate to nighttime for them. Okay, that night heat in the desert. Okay, if you guys don't know. Shout out to my mans for making the video to show that he never touched her, never hit her, none of that. Okay, he already called the cops because she won't leave his crib. This is the reason why, as a man, me personally, this is the reason why I feel like I got to make as much bread as possible. And the reason why I say that, so I don't have to feel like I have to tolerate some bullshit from some chick, okay? If I'm only making like 30000 a year, right, and my girl's making like 30000 35000 I'm making, we both make around like twenty five thirty. dollars Let's say that's the case, right? If we both live together, then we have, I have no choice but to kind of deal with the bullshit that she puts up if I want to continue to stay on my own. I kind of have to just take the bullshit. Unless if I want to move back to my parents' house. And what person wants to move back to their parents' house? Nobody. So I want to be put in a situation where I am making a good amount of bread that if she decides to step out and do some goofy shit, she can go home. I can kick her out and I'll be totally fine. Totally fine. And my man is at the point that he's like that, bro. He doesn't need to accommodate. He doesn't need to lower his standards. He doesn't need to do none of that shit to make something that's not gonna work, work. Doesn't need to do that, cause he has money to support himself. The roof over his head, the water in his fucking, fucking soup. I don't fucking know, the clothes on his back, nigga. He don't need none of that shit. None of it. Start. Get off me, I'm asking her twice. I'm asking you to sit Can you please get off of me? Okay, I'm asking you to sit down. Can you please get off of me? Gary, please don't put your hands on me. Hell no, I ain't sitting down. Please sit down, Gary. Please, please don't leave me. Please! 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 Right? You see this? Please, I'm trying to go. Please! Her back! Look at me, look at me. Look at me. Stop. I don't want to be with you. I will give you whatever. I don't Stop. want nothing Stop. from you. I want to be away from you. Gary, I want my freedom please. from you. A king! A king has risen, bruh. My man said, I don't need nothing from you, bro. I don't want your pussy. I don't care. The pussy is not enough for me. I don't want you. That's as simple as that. Shout out to the kings, bro. Shout out to the kings. I feel like they don't need to lower their standards for some chick, bro. Like, for real. And that's honestly sad. I feel like a lot of guys are soft. A lot of guys don't can't stand their own, too. Because men don't get... Women are, like, literally hold the access to relationships. Well, I would say sex. Men, we have the key to access to relationships. Remember? We're the ones that get no one need for marriage. The thing is, is that I feel like a lot of women think that niggas are here to fucking girls and they're really not a lot of girls a lot of niggas aren't really fucking girls like that to, to give you the buck and girls get access to sex way more quicker way more easier so for him to for a guy to sit there and and and, and not give a fuck about pussy and be like you know what bro i don't fuck with what you did i feel disrespected i will not tolerate it and i will leave <coughs> for him to do that and not think twice that's dope bro that's dope and i feel like every man gets to that point eventually in life for most men once when they reach that one demon in their lifespan and this man i feel like probably reaches okay let's run it back one more time start 
All I'm trying to do is go out the door. Y'all see this? He just camera? trying to I'm leave, trying to leave bro. out the door, get away from the situation, and make things better for me. Tell him. Like, um, Young citizen. Uh, go. So when the police get here, you will see, because I'm going to have to remove her from me physically. Trying to be polite and just walk out and, and, and have a great day, but um, she won't get off me. Can you please get off me? I'm asking Eric, her twice. I'm asking you to Can sit you down. please get off of me? Okay, I'm asking you to sit Can down. Can you please bro. get off of Gary, me? Gary, please don't put your hands. I'm, I'm begging you, please sit down, Gary. Please, please don't leave me. Please. <laughs> please. You see this, right? Gary, Gary, you see this? Please, I'm trying to go. Please. I'm trying to go. Look at me. Look like at a me. demon. I, don't stop. Be with you. I will give you whatever. I don't stop. want nothing stop. from you. I want to be away from you. Gary, I want my freedom please. from you. <laughs> yo, yo, we can't make this up, bro. Honestly, you can't make this up. I'm not gonna make the video too long, but y'all get the gist, bro. Y'all get the gist of this. Man, this guy, like, that's literally the best way you could have handled it. Call the cops, record it, so you can document that you never put your hands on her and that she's a, she's a aggressor and she needs to leave, okay? Simple as that. That prevents any, he did this, he touched me, he hit me. That presents all that shit. None of that, none of that. None of that happened, okay? That shit prevents it all. And the best way for you to get back at a girl, bro, is to just move on. That's honestly the best revenge. At least, I mean, for anybody, but specifically for men, I feel like the best revenge to get back at a girl is to move on and glow up, bro. Nine times out of 10, she gonna hit you back up. And she gonna be like, damn, I see you, damn. That's dope, or damn, you killing it, or damn. Like, it's gonna happen. Like, it's just the best thing you could do as men, bro. Just keep making money and keep going to the next level, next stage in life. Um, that being said, guys, peace, love, and positivity, like always. This is Watch Me Not You Sign Up. We got another million dollar video. If you're not following the dreams, what are you doing? I'm out. Peace.